Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha, here in Qatar. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start, so let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Neymar. Look at the opposition starting lineup today. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Nico Elvedi in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the contest begins. Well, talking about Brazil, really the ultimate World Cup team. And if you look at the group stage this time around, they have Switzerland and Serbia in their group, as they did in the last World Cup. How about their prospects on this occasion? Well, I would say this is a dangerous group for them. You mentioned those three teams. Of course, they should go through, but are they a great side or just a good one? Let's hope they're a great side. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. An unforced error, you've got to say. Casemiro. It's with Vinicius Junior. This is looking threatening. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Embolo. 
we saw the situation developing. Neymar. And what can they produce on the flank? Using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there. Opportunity here. Top class defending. Safe pair of hands did his job. And support available. Embolo. Stefan. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Rafinha. Read it superbly to take back possession. Braille Embolo. Braille in possession. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Neymar. Well, the supporters think it's on. Danilo. Running with the ball confidently. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Granit Xhaka. Well, they might be onto something. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. That is that for the first half here. Well, a fine first half performance by Casemiro. How would you assess what he's done, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So the second half underway and Brazil have the lead but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Great opportunity! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. Two nil now and back underway. Granite Jacker. Jordan Shakiri has it. Vargas. Chance to play it in. And he read it well defensively. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Vinicius Jr. Paqueta. Vinicius. Now with Neymar, Casemiro, being egged on by the crowd. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Keeper not concentrating. Opportunity it is. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. 
Well, there it is. Brazil have controlled the possession. They've passed it well. Their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better oh, here. Oh, they could put it away, Stewart. And effectively parried away by the keeper. And continues his run. Can he put it away? That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Neymar. Promising looking attack, and it might be, there's the goal, surely now, that is that. Well, as the replay shows us, Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Shakiri. And below. Takes aim. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. And there's the delivery. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Vinicius Junior. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And that was a very fine read. And the referee blows for full time. Most acceptable for all Brazilian fans. A victory here, Stuart. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.